Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So an update incoming tomorrow for November 24. Let's take a look at the update. So here is the patch notes for the update tomorrow. It's going to be up at 5 to... I'm sorry, the, the update is going to be between 5 to 9 UTC. So that's roughly 4 hours. And the time difference, uh, take note, for those uh, for those who are in my area, which is the Philippines, this is happening, or the server is going to be available at around 5 in the afternoon. So um, just convert it wherever your time zone is, convert it, and you'll know when the update will drop in your time zone. So during the maintenance, of course, we cannot log in. And... Uh, Compensation is going to be 20 hypercubes and 60 stamina. So conditions of collecting players who log in the game and unlock the mail feature before 1124, which is before tomorrow, can collect the items in the mail. The mail is valid for seven days. So don't forget about it. Content. Okay. I have discussed this already. We're going to be getting Wonderland Adventures. This is a time limited event. This is a good time to farm um for resources i think we'll be getting hypercubes for this event and a specific um specific currency for the event itself or the event store next is the chess masters conquest so this is going to be the rate up banner for irene for those who are interested in, in pulling for irene i'll go through her after this one then we have chameleon message in dreams yeah, message and dreams. A fire bit available for purchase for limited time. So for those who are fans of Chameleon, this is going to be available. New interrogations. We have Bai, Wolverine, Irene, Hamel, Cassie as well. JP and KR dubbing for chapter seven and eight will be updated. English dubbing is in production and will be available soon. Fixed some issues that you might be experiencing, guys. So here they are. Issues with Veronica, uh, Victoria. Wolverine, Luvia Ray, and it's usually Luvia Rays and Wendy's passive passive skill. I'm gonna take you to Irene. For those who are decided to pull for her, um, again, this is what she's going to be giving you. So, okay, so magic damage, 92%. She's not going to be, although she's gonna deal damage, but she is going to be more of a generator for energy. She is going to be Irene Unleashes. This is her ultimate core destruction. The effect depends on the type of so depends if they are they have cores or do, they don't have cores. So for coreless targets, it's gonna deal 700% of her attack. So a lot of damage to all enemies there, three by three, and reducing their speed. So massive damage. Uh, speed reduction. She's going to kind of take the place of um, She's gonna be replacing Kelvin a bit a bit because that is 50% Damage reduction, but again Kelvin for me will be my utility So you can actually use both of them in one team You can actually use her as a utility for damage and as a battery for energy for herself and for the chief so Oh, as you can see here, um, there is also core damage. Right? It's a destruct destructive turbulence to all enemies in the target grid. So again, she will be giving a uh, speed reduction of 50%, which is bigger. But you can actually bring both of them. Bring Kelvin and her so that you can actually, I think, alternate their skills when, the one, when one... Uh, is finished then you use the other one as well so she is she can stack with additional damage two times and this is the one that i'm talking about generates one energy for the chief and five energy for herself every 30 seconds so she brings a lot of utility um it's really up to you guys on how many copies you want from her of or of her so you just need to at least hit. So ultimate damage. This is the one that's gonna make her really good. 
The ultimate energy consumption is reduced by 3 points. The ultimate damage by 10% is actually good as well. But you need to reach, again, 4. Because she'll be generating a lot of energy for herself. The, the energy point or en energy consumption reduction is actually a very nice complement to the to, to the energy that she'll, she'll be she'll be generating so more quicker ultimates coming out from her meaning more damage as well so again try to get more copies of her if you can because she will she she has a lot of you know she's a lot of um, you know she's very versatile for your team She's gonna be huge in the damage department, in the debuffs, and also as a generator for energy. So that is it, guys. So see you tomorrow. I'm gonna be pulling for Irene. So see you in my summons video for Irene. Hope that you're going for her as well. Um, she will probably complete the core of S ranks that I've been looking for. Although I'm, I'm still missing three. Uh, she's one of them, but she's one of she she's one of the S, uh, S ranks that I personally would like to add to my team and would develop up to phase three. So thank you very much, guys. Hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. See you next time.